Hello and welcome to Techie Chap. In today's episode I'm going to be taking a look at a new distribution called Big Linux. Well, let's find out how big it is after the intro. So this is the big Linux desktop that me and my cat are looking at at the moment and uh, it's pretty impressive it has to be said. What, what, do, what do you think Ella? Do you think it's impressive? Oh, I think you just want some food don't you? Anyway <laughs> so yeah it's it's a really nice looking desktop at least from first impressions and uh, if we have a look at the dock down here we can see there is a nice uh, latte dock down here um, everything is branded with the uh, big uh, logo as you can see which actually does pull it together quite nicely so the desktop here looks really nice everything's nicely finished you have a nice little shadow underneath here under the, this top panel you've got this very nice looking latte dock down here and um, because of the branding it does look consistent clicking on big down here will bring up the application menu and you do get a few different applications included by default um, to of specific note is the brave internet browser is your default internet browser got no issue with the uh, brave internet browser I think it is a really good internet browser for Linux and um, it's nice to see something different being used other than Firefox or Chrome so brilliant that brave is in there uh, as the default clearly they've decided that that was the best browser for use um, Clem Clementine is bundled in for music um, I've downloaded OBS studio Reduce microphone noise is a nice little application uh, as well that you can just in two clicks uh, select this and click on reduce the uh, noise. So that's brilliant as well. Like that a lot. Uh, if we just go through down here, keep on going. So we've got LibreOffice. LibreOffice Writer. Let's take a look at the version of LibreOffice on here and it's 7.4.3.2 which is a very very new version of LibreOffice and actually uh, you can see here it's a global menu system you can change that in the layouts if you want to I actually prefer the global menu system where the menu is integrated into the top bar like this um, simply because it gives you more real estate but it does take uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to for example the close and minimize icon with this particular layout are up here on the right it sort of takes over that space up there so if we launch uh, brave here and go to biglinux.com.br so uh, I think it's based in Brazil um, a Brazilian distribution um, and for some reason you get taken to a massive football stadium here and uh, I'm not sure if this is the lead developer or the founder of Big um, and uh, he's looking very pleased with himself there uh, and I would be too if I had put together uh, a Linux distribution like this because it is all the things that it states it is from the website so it is easy to use does solve a lot of needs particularly if you are a new user and you want to try out Linux then this could be a really good Linux version for you um, you can run it as a live USB if you want as well so you can download it copy to USB and then just run it as a system on your USB stick um, Office software included obviously we've seen uh, LibreOffice is installed and yeah the website does have a lot of information on there um, clicking on download takes you to um, obviously the download links 
uh, it didn't take me too long to download this and I downloaded the kernel 5.15 version um, but you can download the kernel 6 version if you want to 3.8 gig in size for the recommended 5.15 and 3.9 for the kernel 6 version um, and it gives you some advice here as well which is great I, I think that's really really nice so yeah the big Linux website is well put together um, it looks very professional um, <coughs> it is a Brazilian uh, distribution um, so um, obviously uh, you, you need you might need the translator to um, to uh, basically uh, read the website but uh, brave does a good good um, translation um, of the website there as well so yeah um, what tools do we get uh, within control center so if we go to control center the control center is um, again very slick looking very consistent I like uh, these little touches like the shadow when you bring up a window underneath the top bar there you can see there's a little shadow there makes it feel really nice as a desktop system and make it does feel like a modern system when you are using it so if we click on about um, and info center we can see here that it is based on KDE Plasma 5.26 um, the kernel version is 5.15.81-1 Manjaro and the graphics platform is an X11 um, rather than Wayland um, and you can see the specs of my system there um, if we just close this down and let's take a look at system monitor if we can find system monitor syscard here we go so here's the system monitor and um, obviously I have uh, Dolphin running here at the moment and I've got OBS recording and as you can see we are hovering sort of just underneath 60% yeah it's sort of between 40 and 60 percent on the CPU usage we are currently running 2 gig of RAM of my 16 gig available so it is quite high on uh, memory usage so I would say you do require a system that has quite a decent amount of RAM in to run this I just close this and see what difference that makes so after closing uh, Dolphin I'm now at 1.9 and obviously this utility as well is running and taking up some RAM but it's just worth noting uh, that the memory usage on here given that it's KDE um, and based on Manjaro it is a little bit high so you do need a fairly decent amount of memory CPU however is really not too bad uh, on this system has to be said it's it's not too bad at all um, so yeah quite quite impressed particularly given uh, given the amount of given the amount of uh, sort of desktop effects running in this it, it it's pretty pretty decent uh, so if we go to present windows uh, down here then you can choose different desktops um, as well which is quite nice um, if we go and have a look at the software center now so let's try and find the software center utilities settings big store here we go so big store um, this is uh, a really nicely put together software um, management tool and yeah it, it just looks great <laughs> has to be said it links into the arch user repository as well as Flatpak, as well as native as well gives you some decent uh, explanations as well when you hover o over icons like this so you're kind of not left guessing um, and that's really nice really nice that they've kind of put these tool tips 
on here as well so it helps you to choose uh, and select the applications and um, what I will point out as well and I noticed this in particular when I downloaded OBS Studio is because it links into the Arch user repository there are tons of OBS plugins you can download from the uh, Arch user repository here and that's fantastic um, that right from the software management tool you can easily uh, download the plugins uh, for tools like OBS um, and there would be other uh, applications as well that have plugins that you can download directly from the uh, software management management tool here which is fantastic um, if we go to browsers and take a look at the browsers that we have available native programs we have brave firefox opera vivaldi chromium falcon pale moon not used pale moon before and epiphany as well and then aur uh, google chrome uh, and Microsoft Edge is all there so you really do have a good selection of some of the main browsers in there um, and like I said before I'm quite quite like the fact that they've included Brave as the default browser and they've really uh, curated this uh, list of applications very well um, really nice list of um, systems for example if you go into audio editors uh, you can see that obviously audacity is there as well oh uh, when this uh, is doing that little animation there you can see that it's searching the AUR so yeah fantastic software management management tool <clears throat> and um, if I do what one of the tests that I did before which is to check that the software management tool actually um, knows that a piece of software is installed as you can see if I hover over that I've got remove so it does know that OBS is indeed uh, installed and you can click on that and click on run as well so it is a fully featured fully working software management tool really really good so uh, if we also have a look at the control center here um, you can just get an idea of the different themes and desktops you can choose and this is uh, pretty much what you choose uh, when you first install it but obviously you can go back to this and choose a different one if you so wish so we are running uh, next G at the moment um, if I was to click on uh, modern and uh, let's just restore because I've selected modern before um, you can see it's changed everything here you get a much much smaller dock down here um, and yeah it, it looks pretty decent um, K unity uh, let's just uh, restore that one I've had a go with these before so I wanted to see what they looked like and there we go that's the K unity uh, desktop look which is much more like the sort of old-fashioned uh, unity look and as you can see again uh, you get the uh, global menu here um, and this time your close and minimize is over here on the left hand side but I'm going to go back to uh, next G and um, I just close that and as you can see um, for KDE it's quite impressive that it's able to switch themes like that whilst I'm recording without having to restart the uh, window manager um, obviously if you didn't restart the window manager um, I do think that in some applications it might not adhere to the theming correctly um, until you restart that window manager but yeah really really good and you can of course choose a dark theme if you so wish so if I click on dark and just click on close on that warning message let's see what happens now so yeah it's turned dark up here on the panel and I think if I close this and close that and then relaunch control center brilliant so control center has now gone into the darkness <laughs> into the dark mode and that's great brave also 
uh, it has taken on the uh, dark theming too which is fantastic if we take a look at the uh, desktop and wallpapers that are included obviously this is the default plasma uh, wallpaper selection um, but you can see there are some really nice uh, wallpapers included here and um, yeah it looks really 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 good a really nice selection of uh, wallpapers now just because this is a Brazilian um, uh, distribution I'm just gonna just gonna uh, have the Brazilian flag there just to honor the developers uh, for their brilliant distribution um, big Linux is fantastic really really impressive um, and uh, if you are a person who's new to Linux gotta say this is a really good distribution for you um, you can uh, select the layout that you are used to so you can have a window type uh, layout if you prefer a Windows desktop uh, paradigm or you can choose this kind of next G or Mac paradigm icon theming is brilliant here I love the fact that uh, the big um, this is a custom uh, icon theme with the big logo all over the place so it does make it really feel like uh, everything is uh, joined up in terms of distribution um, it's just fantastic really really good I've got to give this a 4 out of 5 uh, for big Linux it's a fantastic distribution and um, really a lot of thought has gone into polishing this and making this a superb release and I've got to say I'm looking forward to what else these guys can produce in the future so that's been my review of big Linux the Linux distribution coming out of Brazil that I think really is quite big and impressive a really good Linux distribution particularly if you're a new user if you've enjoyed this review and would like to see more then why not click on like and subscribe below also if you have a Linux distribution in mind that perhaps you think doesn't get the limelight enough and you'd like me to give that distribution a review then why not post it down in the comments below or even on the new community tab in the YouTube channel there's a now a community tab on Techie Chat YouTube channel that you can use uh, to post your questions on and I'll try to reply as best as I can. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.